What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are ready for this doubleheader. A couple ACC games here tonight. Number six, Savannah State at the Morgan State Bears, who are six and three on the season. Savannah State at six and two right now, riding a four-game win streak. And after this, we are gonna actually the other game is not an ACC game. It is Bryant, number twelve in the nation. Traveling to take on the UTEP Miners, who are 8th in the country. So that should be a really tough matchup for the Bears. Or not the Bears, the Bulldogs. My goodness. Off to a great start already. <laughs> Don't even know what I'm talking about. Alright. Now I think everything is all shared. And we are good to go. Six viewers now. Chat shout out to Matt Blue 66 How you doing, buddy? Let's take a look at these stats real quick. Number three points per game in the nation. 49.1 per game for the Tigers. And the number five offense overall. 14th rushing, 35th passing, and the number three defense in the country. Fifth rush defense and 10th in pass defense. So pretty good. The turnover differential could use a little bit of work, but we'll get there. And the Morgan State Bears are actually fifth in the country in turnover differential, so they don't really turn the ball over that often. And they have a top 30 rush defense. Let's take a quick look at some stats here for the Bears before we get into this game. And then we'll check out their schedule and see who they've beaten this season and who they've lost to so far. Happy uh, New Year's Eve to everybody. I don't have anything special planned. Just uh, just streaming, hanging out with you guys. I never really do anything for New Year's, so. Just another day to me. All right, here we go. Oregon State Bears. And they are without their starting quarterback, redshirt senior John Thomas. He's suspended for this ball game, so they're going to be going with Nick Deitches, I think. <laughs> we'll go with Deitches. Sounds good. Six touchdowns, no picks on the year, averaging almost 300 yards per game. So he's started in two games so far this season. 70 completion percentage, not bad, not bad. Sean Myers. Redshirt junior halfback, 715 yards, five touchdowns for the Bears this season. A long of 21. 26 broken tackles, three fumbles. And a couple receivers here, over 500 yards. Joe Noel with six touchdowns. That leads the Bears offense. 76 tackles for true freshman right outside linebacker Clarence Sherman. He leads the team by 33 tackles. That's crazy. He also has 13 tackles for a loss. He has four sacks. And their leading interception man, Carlos Cooper, at free safety. He's got four on the season, but he is out this game. So a couple key pieces missing for the Bears here today. Bunch of forced fumbles. Look at all these forced fumbles. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy. And four recovered for Wendell Evans, true freshman corner. Let's see what his speed is. 80 speed, 59 overall. That's a little rough. So we might be able to pick on him a little bit. They have a safety on the season. And no defensive touchdowns. And no returns for touchdowns. So let's take a look at their schedule. See who they've lost to. And then we will commence the beatdown that I'm about to put on them. Hopefully. All right, so they lost to Brown to start the season. Brown is 7-2, so that's a really tough loss right there. They beat Mississippi Valley State. They beat South Carolina State. Lost to Florida A&M. Beat Bethune-Cookman, who was 0-8 on the season, by one point. Beat Delaware State by two touchdowns. Beat Howard by a score. And destroyed the Hampton Pirates. And then they just lost to the Norfolk State Spartans in an ACC game. And the Spartans are 5-5 five and five on the season. And there's our game that we're about to do. Let's take a look at the ACC really quick. I believe that Morgan State and Savannah State are tied at the top. 
of their division. And Savannah State is actually 5-0 and in conference. Morgan State is 5-2 and this season so far. And, I mean, Savannah State, they have a tough schedule. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. It could be a crazy finish to the season here in the ACC. But let's get into the game, folks. Yeah, we're going to go with the all-whites here today. Because they are just so sexy. Do, 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 do. Up to six viewers in the stream now. Hopefully we get some more player or more yeah, well more players in the chat would be nice to see some of them out here. I know we have a bunch of Savannah State Tigers in the Discord. And several new Tigers on the roster. Jack Dial up in the corner. Fullback Matty Ice. Middle linebacker Rashad Allen, number 40, and halfback Rocky Clearwater, number 22. We're going to see all of these freshmen get a shot at some playing time here today. And I believe Dial Up is going to be the number two corner right now, unless uh, Numa is back. Let me go ahead and check the suspensions here. I believe Numa is out for this game. And Dial Up is actually the number one corner for this game. So this is a huge, huge game for him. Let's see what we can do here on the first drive. Man, that blue is obnoxiously bright. And a user pick by Cody Lee Jr. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know about that, guys. That was a crazy play. That's unfortunate. Oh man, not not really the start that I wanted with the uh, pass interference. I do not remember Morgan State's uniforms being this bright. And I got blocked by the referee on that one. Keep an eye out for the channel. Tomorrow night, we're going to be having our Macon Knights Arena Football Road to Glory franchise return. Should be a lot of fun. There's a rumor going around that uh, the GOAT, James Hickenbotham, will be attending the stream. And that would just be, <laughs> be so awesome. Have our first celebrity check out the channel. They're down at 7 here for the Bears. Tiger territory already. And they're going to go with an option pass. And we get the sack. And a recovery for Kyle Rose on the forced fumble. And that is a great start right there. I love it. Let's see how many. That's Kyle Rose's first fumble recovery of the season. Definitely not how the Bears wanted the game to start off. But who cares about them? Let's get this ground game popping. MJ Gator Jr. back there behind Jeremy Carroll. The Heisman winner from last season. And right up the look at that run. 19 yard or 18 yard carry right there. He's averaging 11 yards per carry this season. And two touchdowns a game. I'm gonna try to get everybody involved here today. Zane Roebuck on the carry. Just one yard on the play for the four-star freshman halfback. Up to nine viewers on the stream now. Hope you guys are enjoying New Year's Eve. And Anthony Numa's wide open for the touchdown. Let's go, Tigers. See how many he's got on the season. That is... Anthony Numa's seventh touchdown reception of the year, 24th catch. And that was a beauty.
Man, just like that, the Tigers are on top. I just realized that Jeremy Carroll got injured on the play. I was looking at the stats. That's That could be rough. The Tigers do not have a subscriber quarterback behind Jeremy Carroll. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. And there's a broken tackle from Houston. Let's go, Muhammad. Get there. Oh, my goodness. Can he get him? Yes, he can. What a return by Houston. Should have been taken down at like the 20-yard line. Some missed tackles there on the kickoff. I just want to know what's happening with Jeremy Carroll now. That's all I'm going to worry about the rest of the game until he comes back. And that should have been a touchdown. <laughs> oh, man. Rashad Farrell out there didn't even have a clue where the ball was. And thank God Jeremy Carroll will be returning in this game. And that could be a touchdown. Nope. And that's face mask by Cody Lee Jr. That'll make it first and two. That's kind of weird, but okay. Let's go defense. Get the goal line stand. Come on. And they're going to toss it out, and I can't make the play right there. Touchdown, Bears, and they're going to tie this ball game up. Rashawn Griffin getting stiff arm to the turf. So the defense could definitely use some work here for the Tigers. Couple penalties already on the defense. Allowing some pretty decent sized plays down the field. Special teams allowed a huge kick return. Plenty of areas to improve for the Tigers. MJ Gator Jr. on the return. And this could be good. MJ to the outside. And MJ is going to take this one all the way. What a return from MJ Gator Jr., the Heisman Trophy winner. Doing some push-ups on him. I believe that is his first ever kick return for a score or punt return for a score. And the Tigers take the lead right back. I love it. MJ was not on any of the returns at all last season. And that is, in fact, his first ever return for a touchdown. You'd love to see it. This might be a high-scoring affair. Which is what I thought the, uh, the Dayton game was going to be. And that didn't turn out to be a high-scoring game at all. A very close game against Northern Iowa last, uh, last night. If you guys missed that one, go ahead and check it out. That game was crazy. And the quarterback is hit, and Reed has it. About an eight-yard reception. Jack Dialop on the coverage over there. This crowd is insanely quiet. Oh, that should have been a pick. Rayshon left his hands on the bus. That would have been his fifth of the season. And they're going to go with a tackle here. And they do not get it. Nice tackle by Rayshon Griffin who just dropped the interception the previous play. Yeah. 
And decent kick from Butler. Here's MJ on the return. And MJ Gator Jr. Is he going to have his second return for a touchdown? Yes, he is. Oh, my goodness. Came into the game with zero returns for touchdowns in his career. And he now has two. One kick return, one punt return. What is going on right now? I mean, I know he's fast. But he's never <laughs> he's never done this before. Chris Numa is usually the one on returns, but he is suspended for this ball game due to academics. And just like that, it's 21 to 7. On the return from the six yard line is Reed. And he is dropped at about the 23 yard line. Nice return, though. The fullback dive goes nowhere. Clark stuffed by Rashad Farrell. The four-star outside linebacker slash defensive end. He plays both spots. We keep pinching the line. Trying to break up the plays in the middle. And it's working for us so far. Rayshon Griffin, another nice tackle. Yeah, right at the line of scrimmage. Tigers, 13-1 last season. Gator Bowl champions under head coach Seth Maddox. Looking to possibly get in the national championship game here, even with two losses this season. They are number six in the country. Gator back there again. And they're going to kick it straight to him once again. And this time he is dropped as soon as he catches it. A lot of crazy games so far this week. We saw Jacksonville, 20th in the nation, destroy the number one Tennessee State Tigers, who were 7-0 at the time. UC Davis held the Eastern Washington Eagles to negative 29 yards of offense. And what a run right there from MJ Gator Jr. We saw the Dayton Flyers have a really close game against Northern Iowa last night. VMI destroyed a really solid Southeastern squad. And let's see, who else? San Diego, they're not going to be in a bowl game. They're 2-7 and seven after the loss to Portland State. And great blocking downfield. And a touchdown again for MJ Gator Jr. Making a statement here tonight against ACC foe Morgan State. He's just too fast. Great blocking down the field as well. True freshman half or er, receiver, Anthony Numa down there, laying out some corners. You love to see it. Just like that, it's gonna be 28 to 7. Let's do it. Let's get 100 points, folks. Let's get it. I got faith. Morgan State hasn't really done much at all on offense. They had a great kick return that set up their touchdown. And I missed the tackle on Reed. Fantastic. A lot of missed tackles so far today for Savannah State. Quarterback draw, that goes nowhere. That's not going to work unless your quarterback has like a 90 speed because this defense is fast. And they go half back off tackle and that goes nowhere as well. And a fumble. And I don't know who forced it. 
Number 94, that's a non-subscriber player. Making a nice play out there. Bears 0 for 3 so far in the first quarter on third down attempts. Play action. Deep shot left side. Nice deflection by Rashad Farrell. And another stop for the Tigers defense. Butler with a long punt of 80 on this season. That is insane. And they might have just... Oh, that was actually a good punt. If we got a block on that guy, that was another touchdown for MJ. All right, where's the play I want? There it is. We got Jeremy Carroll back. This is a play that Matty Ice scored a huge touchdown reception on in his debut. And that's not good. Nice block. And we're just going to get rid of it to Anderson. No idea who you are, but good catch. And a first down for the Tigers. Fifth of the quarter so far. Try to hit him with the play action again. And Anthony Numa's open. Jukes a man out. And Anthony Numa is gone again. His second touchdown today. And the eighth on the year for the true freshman receiver. Man, oh man. What a move. Safety didn't stand a chance. This is looking like blowout city here, folks. Numa was 10 yards downfield before <laughs> defensive back even turned back around after the juke. And it is 35 to 7 with just under a minute left here in the first quarter. Oh, looks like the uh, freshman fullback and freshman halfback are going to be able to get some carries here today. Two freshman halfbacks. Because we're going to be running the clock out in the second half. My goodness. Nice spin move. Made me look silly. Let's go defense, get another stop. Let's get it. Oh, I should have had the pick. <laughs> oh, man. Probably would have been a touchdown. Guaranteed. Pick six. And a halfback pass. Man open down the field. Right side. Nice play. Great closing speed. Oh, my goodness. That should have been a huge play for the Bears. But that Tigers defense, too fast. Bears 0 for 4 on third downs. What you got? What you got? Deep shot down the middle. And he's got it, I think. Nope. Overthrows his man. This quarterback's having a rough go of it. And we're going to see another punt here in the first quarter. This is looking like LSU versus Oklahoma. Probably could have returned that. I thought they were a lot closer than that. Yeah, it's all right. Rocky Clearwater, number 22, freshman halfback in the backfield. And he's going to get his first carry of the ball game, and he's going to pick up five or six yards. All right, what do I want to do here? Let's give it off to Zane Roebuck. Number 47, the four-star freshman halfback. <laughs> I wanted to quiet the crowd, and he runs off sides. So they don't have their heads in the game right now. Might as well call the same play.
Don't forget to hit that like button, folks. And for some reason, my chat did not load up until just now. But some shout-outs in the chat. Wrestling Cup Classic. How you doing, buddy? Dayton Down. Lucky7. Marvin Joseph. Rashad Farrell in the chat. Chaos Driven, my brother. In the chat. Who else we got? Colin Northrip and Wit Billions. Michigan got so bad on your dynasty, they got booted out of the Big Ten. That is rough, man. That is really rough. And there's the sophomore halfback, Evan Barber, picking up maybe a yard on the run. I have no idea why my chat would not load until just now. That's weird. And set up the screen here. And Jarmel Lewis has it. And Lewis gets it up to the 40-yard line. His first catch of the ball game. Four consecutive completions for Jeremy Carroll. And I want to go play action here. Try to hit the tight end, maybe. Matt Meeks is a monster. And we've actually got Matty Ice wide open. That's the freshman fullback. First down, Tigers. Now five consecutive completions. You can hear a pin drop in this stadium. Shout out Jarmel Lewis in the chat. What's up, buddy? Oh, huge hit on Roebuck, but he holds on to the football. Run a toss with Clearwater? All right, let's get it. I don't really run tosses in this game because they don't really work for me, but let's try it out. See if he's got that speed. And there's Clearwater in the clear. Nice block downfield from Jarmel Lewis, and Rocky Clearwater is gone for a touchdown. Let's go. 47-yard run for the freshman. Jarmel Lewis with a clutch block right there. Just barely hit him, but it was just enough to spring the freshman loose in the end zone. And it is about to be 42 to 7. My goodness. Seven play, 83 yard drive, two minutes off the clock for the Tigers. I feel pretty bad right now <laughs> for Morgan State. The fans don't deserve this beat down. Look at that, 14 plays for the Tigers, four, or 243 yards, only 31 yards of offense. So far from Morgan State. <coughs> I wish this was a home game. The stadium would be going crazy. And a hit on the quarterback. Deflected away and the receiver gets lit up as well. I did that toss for you, Jarmel. <laughs> with billions. I, I know, man. They just don't work. Tosses, like, almost never work. And there's a sack on the play. I'm not sure who that was. I didn't see the number. Might have been Wooly Madden, the four-star freshman. And it was indeed. He destroyed that blocker. Oh, my. That was rough. That'll bring up third down and 17. The Bears are 0 for 5 today. Okay. I'll take that one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, up to the 30-yard line. Cody Lee Jr. on the pick. The user. I thought that was way overthrown, but that receiver caught up quick. He just doesn't know how to tackle. Uh. 
All right. Let's see how many interceptions he's got on the season. I know he's got a bunch. Let's check that out real quick. And Cody Lee Jr., that's actually his third pick on the season. Let's go, MJ. Five or six yard carry. But Lee does have a pick six on the season. And I believe last year he had like five picks and four touchdowns. Something crazy. Some ridiculous numbers. All right. I don't think this defense has a clue what to do right now. And I'm okay with it. And there's MJ again. Look at the speed. Touchdown Tigers again. This is my stadium now. I'm the captain now. He's just way too fast. That linebacker just stood there. Let's get a thumbnail here of MJ running away from everyone. Whee! There it is. MJ Gator Jr., Heisman Trophy winner last season. Balling out right now. I believe that is his either his fourth or fifth touchdown of the game. Ridiculous. And Carroll also has two touchdown passes. He has 26 on the season. That leads all subscriber quarterbacks. He leads them all in yards as well. MJ came into the game fifth in the nation for our or fifth out of our subscriber players in rushing yards. And fourth in touchdowns with 17. I think he's got three today, so that'll give him 20. And that'll get him into a tie with Zoomer Speed. I believe, I think Zoomer Speed has 20 now. And Sunny six. Can't remember if Speed had two touchdowns last night or one. There's like two fans left in the stands right now. And there's another sack of force fumble, and they recover it. And I don't know who got the sack on that. It was number 94. That's a non-subscriber defensive tackle. Blackstock. He was actually a four-star recruit that nobody wanted to pick for some reason. Who wants it? Who wants smoke with Debo? Nobody. What's up? MVP Gator Jr. <laughs> Might as well be his name, right? He's already got the Heisman. I don't think he's going to win it this season, but he'll definitely be in the top five. For sure. And they're going to go off tackle. Kyle Rose shuts that play down. And the crowd is just not having it. This is already the fifth punt of the half for Butler. Shout out in the chat, Huntsy34. Uh, Appreciate you stopping by. I don't believe I've seen your name before. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, buddy. Love to see you in the chats. And you know I got that user skill. Come on now. Come on. I'm just playing. I suck most of the time. And Clearwater stuff in the backfield. Too many defenders, not enough blockers on that side. And less than two minutes left in the half. Who wants it? Anybody? Great blocking. Great blocking. He's open. And it's Anderson again. I don't know who it is. Inside the 20-yard line. And it's holding. So it's coming back anyway. Great. <laughs> All the way back to our own 41-yard line. This is what I thought the Flyers were going to do last night against the Northern Iowa Panthers. Let's set up a screen here. Let's get MJ a touchdown reception, shall we? Oh, that's a fumble? <laughs> what? Come on, now. I don't know about all that. I'm a little upset now.
Morgan is dumpster juice. <laughs> they're, they're not that bad. I mean, they have uh, six wins on the season. Nice little run by Myers, seven yard carry. And look at the comparison to halfback. Oh my, 103 yards already for MJ. I really wanted 50 in the first half, but I don't think we're going to get it now. Come on, what you got? What you got, Morgan? You got a fullback dive for the first down, but I still got you. Just their second first down of the game. That's tough. Seventy-four percent in the red zone this season. Not terrible. Not good. <laughs> Come on, give me a pick. Oh, I deflected it away. Closing speed for Lee is just insane. Yeah, Morgan State is definitely not showing a whole lot in this ball game. It could be because their starting quarterback is gone. He's suspended for the game, or maybe their free safety being injured. I don't know. And there's a sack. Kyle Rose gets him. His first sack of the ball game. Man, he is uh, now has 11 on the season. He's just been on a tear this year. There's 0 for 7 on third downs. It's third and 15. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And I couldn't jump in the air for I hit L1. That's the deflection button. And he puts two hands up to try to catch it. The logic. What is that? Sometimes I just... I hate Heisman sometimes. <laughs> Run the score up because of that fumble. <laughs> okay. I got you. Might just keep tossing the pigskin. Slang in the tater, as uh, head coach Seth Maddox likes to say. Let's go, MJ. Get yourself another return, buddy. Let's go. Oh, I needed one block right there, and I would have had the edge. Come on now. 298 total yards today. We just got to get him a reception. All right, let's see what we can do here for him. Morgan State almost has as many plays as yards on offense. That is just great. MJ wide open, and it just, he just lets it bounce off his back. First incomplete pass for Jeremy Carroll. That, that makes me sad just a little bit. All right, let's get it. I want that 50 burger. Uh-oh. Overthrew him. I overthrew him just by a little bit. He had a step, but I don't know why Carroll threw it so far into the middle of the field like that. That one definitely got away from him. Set my feet and everything. That's tough. Oh, man. I should not be upset right now. I'm winning by 35 points. Give me the ball back. I want to score again. I snap. Oh, and I deflected it to Rayshon Griffin. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That is his fifth interception on the season. And that puts him into the top three of all subscriber players. He's now tied with Ralph William, free safety for the Cal Poly Mustangs, and one behind Rob Orlandi, middle linebacker for the Dayton Flyers. Having a great year. Should play him at uh, receiver at some point. Why not?
Did we get a thumbnail already? Yeah, we did. Forgive me. My memory is so terrible. Let's go, MJ. Oh, nice tackle. We got one timeout left. I want to try to get the ball to Matt Meeks. He's such a huge target at tight end. And he's actually not even in the game. Is he injured? Nope, he's suspended for three games. I forget these things. See? Terrible memory. And Jarmel Lewis, what a catch! Oh my goodness! That was unbelievable. Up five touchdowns, and he's putting his body on the line like it's the Super Bowl. I love it. That was awesome. And MJ was wide open. Carroll off the mark again. Let's try to set up that screen. This is what we fumbled on last time, and he can't even catch the ball. My goodness gracious. I guess it's just not meant to be for him getting a catch here in the first half. Because we fumbled once trying to throw to him. And a drop pass. And one hit him in the back of the head. Carroll was off the mark. But we got the 50-burger in the first half. 52-14 as we head into the locker room. What do you guys think? Should we go for 100 points? The only people left in the crowd are the families of the players. Let's go, Jarmel. What you got, buddy? What you got? And up to the 25-yard line. Nice return. Give it off to Rocky Clearwater again. Just 42 yards of offense for Morgan State. They have as many turnovers as they do first downs. And a five-yard carry for Clearwater. Let's give it off to the fullback, Matty Ice. And Matty Ice up the gut. Look at the moves up to the 48-yard line. The big fullback rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Jarmel Lewis wants me to go for 100. I got to now. I got to do it. It is meant to be. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to try. Let's go, MJ. Let's go, MJ. And an 8-yard carry for him. He lost a heartbreaker today in NCAA 07. Southern Jaguars. And the SEC East up 21-0 at halftime against Bama. And they came back and beat you? Oh, man, that is tough. I would have probably just put the game down and not played it for a few days after that. That's that's terrible. That would have broke my heart. My achy, breaky heart. All right, I'll stop. I'm sorry. What do we got here? And Numa's open. He drops the ball again. What is going on with these receivers? And he is now injured on the play. Wow. So the Tigers now without Chris Numa and Anthony Numa. They're also without Zay Jones due to a strained pectoral. He's out for two more weeks. So they're only down they're down to one receiver right now, and that is the GOAT, Jarmel Lewis. Feels bad. Might as well chuck it up to him, right? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. No, I'm just going to take off with Carroll. Doesn't run the football too often, but he got the first down there. I'll take it. Yeah, I, I don't know if we're going to get 100 points right now. <laughs> the game has slowed down significantly. This is actually a backwards pass. Nice stiff arm from MJ. And Jukes a player out. He's still going. Oh, my goodness. What a run. After the catch, that counted as a run. What in the world just took place? 
The stick skills, I'm telling you. I want to take another look at that. That's That was phenomenal. Boom. Boom. Running everybody over. Boom. Look at this. Look at all these players that he's just leaving in his wake right now. My goodness. Showing why he is the Heisman man. That was a really tough, gritty run right there. And Jarmel Lewis can't get it to him. Deflected away. Nice play by the defensive back. Uh-oh. Stuffed. That hole closed up real quick. Some recruiting news. The uh, Savannah State Tigers actually have a couple of recruits. They got a four-star quarterback, dual threat, and a four-star corner. Wide open down the field, and... <laughs> Rocky Clearwater completes the pass to the number four receiver, Stratton. That was insane. <laughs> Up by 38, and we're calling a halfback pass. I love it. Ninety-one percent in the red zone this season for the Tigers, and we're gonna just add to it right here. MJ with another touchdown run, the third of the game for him. And he just keeps piling up the stats in his career. It's his 20th touchdown run of the season. He had over 20 last year as well. I don't remember how many, because there was just so much. And that's going to make it 59-14. Tigers cruising right now. Who's ready for the Tiger Bowl? LSU Clemson. Who you guys got? Let me know in the chat. And again, don't forget to hit that like button, folks. And subscribe if you are new and enjoying the game so far. I know it's a blowout, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of subscriber players here on this team. It's actually 18 subscribers on this team right now. Throw it deep. I dare you. I dare you. Nope. Too scared. Nice block out in the secondary. I got leveled. I'm going to keep blitzing. Let's go. Oh, overthrown. I thought Rashad Allen was going to be able to get that one. They're going to keep it on the ground on third down, and they don't convert again. What are they doing? It's, they just gave up. They're not even trying anymore. This is punt number six for Butler today. 37-yard average so far. Man, that was almost blocked. My goodness. MJ on the return. Can't get it past the first man. I still want to get him a touchdown catch. I'm going to send Lewis on a streak right here. Maybe Gator will be by himself on the left side of the field. You want to actually run down the field, buddy? No? Nope. All right. Carroll going to take off, and he's going to have about 13 or 14 yards, and he's holding anyway. Make my pocket passer run 13 yards downfield, and it doesn't even count. That's hurtful. Let's go double ISO. Yeah, 
And an unnecessary spin gets me tackled. Alright, MJ's a little tired. Let's try to give this off to Clearwater on second down and 17. Man, a nice run by the freshman and a nice stiff arm. And he's going to pick up about 15 yards. He's got 71 yards today on five carries. Let's try to give it off to the other freshman. Uh, actually, let's go fullback blast. Matty Ice, let's get him a carry. He had a decent one earlier. And he's going to have the first down here easily. And jukes the safety out of his shoes up to the 35-yard line. Get the big man involved. Let's go, Matty Ice. I have never heard a crowd more quiet in my life. This is crazy. And MJ's got to step on everybody. And we finally got it to him. He has a touchdown reception. Three touchdown runs. And he's... <laughs> He's also got a kick return and a punt return for a score here today. I see him moving up in the Heisman voting. Just a jump ball to the halfback and he out jumps the safety. You gotta love it. That's gonna make it 66 to 14 with the extra point. For those wondering, I am playing on Heisman still. I've played every single game of this entire series on Heisman, I believe. Except for the tournament games before the Dynasty started. Those were on All-American. And this kick is out of bounds. Sick. That was atrocious. I'm still finding things to be mad about right now. <laughs> We're winning by so much. Up by 52 points. Oh, and dial up with a deflection. And we're up to 10 viewers now in the stream. The first time we've hit 10 viewers tonight. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to hit the like button before you leave. And if you dislike the video, I mean, at least let me know why, you know? Any type of feedback is good. And there's another sack. My goodness. I don't even know who got him right there. Let's see. And that, that celebration right there is a little choppy by that cheerleader. And who got him? That was Rashad Allen, the freshman linebacker coming through. Bears one of nine on third downs today. On the goose, on the goose. I'm on fire. Let's go. Let's go. What you got? That was a terrible throw. Rashad Farrell almost had the pick. Yeah, gotta love it. I'm going to keep going for the block. I'd love to see a blocked kick in this game. I think I've only ever done it once or twice. I think I blocked an extra point once and a punt. Actually, no, I don't think I ever blocked a punt. I think it was an extra point and a field goal. So I just blitzed up the middle. No way I'm going to return this again. MJ Gator Jr., you've got to be kidding me. You are ridiculous. Oh, it's called back. <laughs> no. That should have been his seventh touchdown of the game. Oh, that hurts my soul. It really does. That's so hurtful. Matty Ice in the open field. Look out, the big fullback rumbling down the field inside Bears territory to the 45-yard line. They cannot stop him any of the running backs 
Or fullback. Goodness gracious. Let's get the other young fella involved. Zane Roebuck. The four-star freshman halfback. He has four touchdown runs on the season so far. And he has not had a whole lot of success here today. He also has 251 yards coming into this ball game. And I'm really proud of myself. I haven't sneezed a single time during this entire game. Matty Ice, wide open. And the big fullback breaking tackles, picks up the first down again. That right side of the field is getting torched. And that, my friends, is going to end the third quarter. Get your fours up. We're 34 points away from the hundo. Just got to get five touchdowns. No big deal. And let's go, Roebuck. Oh, this should be easy first down. And more Zane Roebuck touchdown, Tigers. Matt, this is fifth on the season. And that was too easy. Great blocking downfield there by Matty Ice. Sealing off the strong safety. Get wrecked, Morgan State. Get wrecked. Second game of our doubleheader should probably be a little bit closer. It's number 12, Bryant, versus number 8, UTEP. I expect that game to be pretty close. UTEP, a very solid program. And it looks like Savannah State is going to end up winning their division. And if it continues the way it's been going, William and Mary is going to be the other squad to represent the ACC in the ACC title game. They've had a great season so far. They are, I believe they won this week against Southern Illinois. They are now 8-1 on the season. And there's another tackle for a loss by me. There's only uh, two other FCS schools that were actually ranked starting this week. And that was number one, Tennessee State, and number five, William & Mary. So no other schools other than our schools. We have eight of our schools ranked in the top 25 this week. And all of them have won. Let's go, what you got, what you got? Oh man, I should, oh I almost had that. Should have stayed where I was at. Another failed third down attempt right there by the Bears. I will block a kick. I will. Oh, I jumped that one too fast. It has to be offsides. Yep. Yep. It's definitely offsides. Let's see if they got the balls. You got the balls to go for it? No, you don't. Second game of our doubleheader. We'll be streaming that one directly after this one. No break in between, really, except for me setting up the stream. MJ got nothing on that return. And he's tired. Still five minutes left in the ball game. And Jarmel Lewis has a step on the corner and he drops it. Oh no. Jarmel, what are you doing? 
He's been so sure-handed this season. I thought for sure he was going to get that one. And Roblox picks up maybe four yards up the gut. Tigers 4-4 four four so far on third downs. And MJ drops another one. Well, we are not going to get the 100-burger here today. Yo, what up, Tom? A little bit late to the party. Hopefully you stick around for the second stream right after this one. And a huge hit on Reed. That was Rashad Farrell. Oh, my goodness. And nice run by Myers. Picks up seven yards. The Tigers are definitely eating right now. MJ Gator Jr., has uh, six total touchdowns this game. One punt return, one kick return, three rushing, and one receiving. It's his first ever punt return and first ever kick return for touchdowns in his career. And a drop pass, Rashad Farrell out in coverage. Nice tackle. Oh no, a face mask by the freshman. In his first career start, I believe. I think he was the number two corner uh, last week. South Maddox livid on the sideline right now. And we're back up to nine viewers in the street. Don't forget to smack that like button, folks. Oh, that's a pick. Rayshon Griffin has his sixth of the season. He's tied with Rob Orlandi now. And this is a pick six. Rayshon Griffin. Oh, my goodness. What the world is going on right now? That's his second pick six of the season. And we about to get that 80 burger, folks. Morgan State Bears getting destroyed. Man, oh man, 80 to 14. Tigers on top. Who knows, can we get three more touchdowns, guys? Can we get the first ever 100 point game in the series? My defense is a little tired right now. After that big pick six. And they're going to try to keep it on the ground here. And I stop that play. And there's another face mask. This time on Kyle Rose. And another 15 yarder. Seth Maddox going to tear his team a new one in the locker room after the ball game. What's the highest scoring game ever in this series? Um, let's see. I believe we had 91. Might be more. Maybe a little. Maybe 92 or 93. I can't remember. It was this season, I believe. Cash driven back in the chat. What's up? Complete overkill? Yeah, we run the score up. You know it. John Mal Lewis said, you know, we had to try for 100, so we got to do what we got to do. Got to do it. Also, New Mexico put up 90 plus points last season against Southern Utah in their 6 and 7 campaign. What you got? What you got? What you Oh, incomplete. Up to 11 viewers now. Guys tuning in seeing if we can get that 100 points. And yes, in fact it is on Heisman. 
You heard it here first. Oh, I almost had that pick. Come on now. Two of 12 on third downs. Bears just having no luck doing anything here today. Oh, I almost had another one. Come on now. You got to love the consistency, Tom. You, you got to love it, buddy. Bears finally going to go for it here on fourth down. Trying to get that comeback. Got to start somewhere, right? Oh, we get the sack instantly. Kyle Rose with his 12th sack of the season. That was way too easy. Why would they go play action on fourth and five against an extremely fast defense? Like, that just doesn't make any sense. Nice, nice, nice. And MJ picks up nine yards on the left side. I'm going to go with the triple option here with a pocket passer at quarterback. I'm going to try to pitch it before we get hit. Get there, MJ. Let's go. He's too fast. He's too fast for you. And he outruns everybody. We up to 86 points, baby. Let's go. Feels bad. No, it doesn't. Feels good. Feels real good. We got a shot at 100 points, folks. Tiger's playing angry right now. Listen, Jarmel Lewis, you know, he wants the 100 points. We got to do it. We got to get it for him, man. I just noticed that there was 10 mile an hour wins. I have not been paying attention this entire game. How is there even any fans in the stands to keep booing right now? Yeah, you got nothing. Rashad Farrell is such a beast in pass coverage. Got to manage the clock. We trying, man. We got timeouts. We're good. We're good. Two and a half minutes left. We got this. Two touchdowns. That's all we got to get. And nice tackle. Farrell, again, his fourth tackle today. He's got as many pass deflections as he has tackles. Bears 2 of 13 on third downs now. Come on, test me. Test me, let's go. Nope. Oh my goodness, Rayshard Griffin with the... He's got the trifecta. <laughs> oh my goodness. His third pick today. It's about to be bonkers, folks. We got a really good shot at 100 points right now. This is crazy. It's the wind howling through an empty stadium. <laughs> Absolutely. It's got to be. MJ wide open. And he's got another touchdown. Let's go. <laughs> We're one score away from the triple digits, folks. Morgan State will now be the uh, the YouTube channel meme. <laughs> Last year it was CJ Moreland and Idaho State as a team. And this year... I mean, it's got to be Morgan State allowing this many points. My goodness. 
MJ Gator Jr. has eight touchdowns on offense, four rushing, or eight touchdowns total, excuse me, four rushing, two receiving, a punt return, and a kick return for a score today. Outrageous numbers. All right, let's get this last touchdown on like a pick six or a scoop and score. That would be amazing. That's the only way we haven't scored today is a fumble recovery for a touchdown. Throw it. I dare you. Nope. Get out of here. Another tackle for a loss. 87 career tackles for Cody Lee Jr. Seven picks. You have to love it. Just think, last night, I, I struggled against Northern Iowa with the Dayton Flyers. Oh, there! this is a halfback pass right here. Sit down. Sit down. I got the fumble recovery. I just did score. <laughs> I cry. No, I didn't get a safety. I was talking about touchdowns, though, Tom. Don't ruin this for me, Thomas. What do you think, guys? Are we going to get the 100 right here? I really just want to keep handing it off to MJ. Get this boy right back in the Heisman discussion. It ain't over, Brandon Allen. It ain't over. And that's a two-yard carry. 179 yards today, four touchdowns on the ground. I have so much adrenaline pumping right now because we're so close to triple digits. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Triple digits, baby. Savannah State Tigers got the 100 points. Oh, my goodness. I never thought we'd see it. I never thought that we'd see it. MJ Gator Jr., 9 total touchdowns here today just an unstoppable force I kind of want to miss the extra point just to stay at 100 but I'm not going to do it yo this is nuts this is on Heisman difficulty folks Heisman We got the hundo burger, baby. Let's get it. If any team was capable of doing it, it was definitely the Tigers. My goodness. Clipping. On the receiving team. Clipping? All right, let's get a safety. Let's go. Come on now. What happened here, Matt? We got the hundo burger, buddy. We got it. I really want to blitz, but I'm going to leave that receiver wide open. Who am I kidding? I'm a risk taker. And Dialop gets his first career pick. What you going to do? You going to tackle me. Okay. Okay. First pick in the career of Jack Dialop. Let's go. That was... Just not a good throw. Way overthrown. Oh boy. Trying to be shifty here. Didn't quite work out too well, but I'll, I'll take it anyway. <laughs> you expected him to win by two touchdowns, not 12. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what else to tell you, buddy. <laughs> I sure as heck did not expect 100 points here today. We might have some more right here. MJ Gator Jr. is gone again. His 10th touchdown today. Woo! Oh, baby. Bruh. <laughs> 10 touchdowns in one game. What? This is like Georgia Tech versus Cumberland way back in the day. Like 222 to 0. 
Except Morgan State scored, and that makes me real sad. Whew. MJ is just way too fast. This is crazy. It's like I'm playing on freshmen. That's tough. <laughs> that is tough. That is definitely a record. Ten touchdowns by one player. And I don't think we'll ever see that get broken. This is crazy. What is what is the record in the game? I don't even remember what it is. Isn't it like 109? This is nuts, guys. And dial up. Hits him out of bounds. Stopping the clock. I like it. Let's go. Bears only 49 yards of offense today. They average 426 on the season. That is rough. I can't stop looking at the score. That is just nuts. Is it 114? Okay. Did they just set up a screen? A successful screen? What a hit by Cody Lee Jr. Let's go. This is so insane right now. MJ, player of the game, 10 touchdowns. That's all you got to say. Oh, you should have had the pick. 16 hurries, 5 picks, 6 sacks. Defense just balling out. I'm going to keep blitzing too. Let's go. They want to keep throwing it. Oh, he was wide open. Oh, my. He is 11 of 36 today. 89 yards, one touchdown, five picks. I am shocked that this man is still in the ball game. actually. This is, that's crazy. This whole entire game is just nuts. They're down in 10. Let's get a quick stop here. Let's go. Come on now. We want the record. Oh, he caught it. No. Hurry up. Get to the line. Run another play. You really going to taunt right now, bro? You going to taunt? You see the scoreboard, right? You're almost down by 100 points. I don't know how he caught that. That's unfortunate. We'll call timeout. Look at those yards. That is crazy. They've run 61 plays and don't even have 100 yards of offense. What? I'm shocked that there is still six of you watching this right now. Nice tackle, nice tackle. That's our final timeout. I don't know if we're going to break the record, folks. Need something crazy to happen here. It's totally possible. This whole game has just been crazy. No, well, they're going to keep it on the ground. That is going to be the final score. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Savannah State Tigers win a close one, 108 to 14 here against the Morgan State Bears in ACC play. Oh boy, look at that scoreboard. We almost beat them by a hundred, a hundred. The big hundo, the Benjamin. I don't know what else to say. That was the most insane game of NCAA football 06 that I've ever seen in my life. Oh, we did break the record. It was 103. We got it. <laughs> Let's go. The Tigers. Let's go, baby. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's
You guys just witness history right here. That'll never be broken. Not a chance. Not a chance. Can't wait to look at these stats. Hundred and we had more points than they had yards on offense. Let that sink in for a second. More points than they had yards. Bruh. <laughs> oh my god. 408 on the ground. 223 in the air. We sacked them six times. They had negative 31 rushing yards. And we had seven takeaways. Seven. Eight hundred and eighty nine total yards. We also had more penalty yards than they had offensive yards. Moment of silence for the uh, Morgan State Bears. F's in the chat, please. Look at that scoreboard. Thirty five in the first, and then we only score yeah, only score <laughs> thirty one in the second and third combined, and we put up forty two points. In the fourth quarter, both teams had their starters in the entire game. Look at this. You're just going to see MJ Gator Jr. You're going to see him ten times right here. Ten. The man scored 70 points. Like, come on. That's insane. Look at that. 12 of 37. They kept him in all game, too. That's crazy. Rocky Clearwater with a 23-yard pass today. Jamie Carroll, 200 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. Let me see how many touchdowns he has now on the season. He now has 28 touchdown passes this year. MJ, six touchdowns on the ground. Good lordy. With 229 yards. So that gets him up over 1,200 yards rushing on the season. That'll get him to fourth behind Brandon Allen, Sonny Six, and Smash Jackson. And he is now in the lead for touchdowns with 23. Boy, oh boy. That is nuts. All right, later, Tom. MJ, two catches, two touchdowns. Anthony Numa, luckily, is only going to miss, you know, the rest of this game, and that was it. Because the only other receiver that's healthy right now, or not suspended, is Jarmel Lewis. Three drops today for MJ. That, <laughs> that is rough. Look at the pancakes. Look at that. All freshmen. Seven tackles for Cody Lee Jr. And oh man. I'm still, I'm just, I'm so shocked at what just took place. Look at all these tackles for loss. Three, six, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen tackles for a loss, folks. Seventeen. And six sacks on the quarterback. Five interceptions, three from the middle linebacker, Rayshon Griffin. Bunch of deflections here today, ten of them. Four forced fumbles. Two recovered. And a defensive touchdown, a pick six for Rayshon Griffin. Kick return for a touchdown for MJ. Punt return for a touchdown for MJ. Goodness gracious. Ten total touchdowns. 10. Savannah State is now 7 and 2 on the season. Morgan State falls to 6 and 4, and Savannah State has locked their spot in the ACC Championship game, and that is most likely going to be against the William and Mary Tribe. So that <laughs> that's going to be a lot better game than this one. William and Mary's very good. They beat Bryant this season already. So don't expect <laughs> triple digit points again. But uh, give me about five minutes to get this next stream set up, and we will have number eight UTEP at number 11 Bryant Bulldogs. 
I will see you guys in five minutes.